That's conspiracy theory talk. That's the great replacement theory is conspiratorial, you crazy MAGA right wing extremists. Well, it's just that places like New York are already doing this in local elections. They are allowing non-citizens to vote in local elections. And now experts are saying that a loophole in Arizona's election procedures may allow non-citizens to cast federal election ballots in the 2024 presidential election. This is Democrat Arizona Secretary of State Adrian Fontes, who crafted the election procedures manual to permit individuals with unverifiable citizenship to register as, quote, federal only voters and participate in federal elections. They can become individuals can become federal only voters. Submit that form, the federal voter registration form without proper documentation for citizenship verification. And boom, you're in. Mm-hmm. It's always this been is plan. right. Th- they won. Of course, it's always been the plan. This is happening as much as they want to claim this is not happening. This absolutely is happening. I mean, hello, are the smoke alarms going off yet? Is this a five alarm fire yet? They are literally trying to create loopholes so that illegal immigrants can vote in federal elections. Before I thought, well, I mean, New York's doing it, but it's local elections and I can't control what New York does in their local elections. This We're talking about the presidential election. If you don't think that this is what the whole master plan has been, I don't know what to tell you at this point. What's stupid is it's it's kind of a version of they made a documentary that Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman starred in called Far and Away. Uh, One of the best documentaries ever. Um, But like remember that it was based off of what they were doing. And that was based off of like, you know, real history there in New York where they would take in the Irish immigrants right off the boat and then pull them in, give them a place to live, give them a job and get them voting. So that the person, the per, but the person that was giving him this was the one running for office. It's exactly the same. That's what's so ridiculous. How the again we go back to you know you're labeled a far right mm-hmm. or you know an extremist if you point this out. It's so obvious. Right. Or it's, a racist. Or racist. It's, it's like, been done all throughout our history. Right. And no one has agreed with it. But now, well, actually, no one agrees with it unless they're benefiting from it. Right. And they found a great way to benefit it off of it this time. How does this make you feel, Yaku? Uh. As as a as a fifteen years to legal, become fifteen right. years to become a citizen, close to a hundred thousand dollars, deep in the ninety thousand mm. dollars, legal the legal way, right? Not that I'm advocating that that's necessarily right, but I understand. I come from a country that was apartheid, that still doesn't have free trade with the United States, which means it's one of the most difficult countries in the world to even get a visa. But I'll do it the same, and it should be that way every single time. So no, it's infuriating. But, but to know that it was always the plan, right. what's most infuriating to me is we called it day one. Day one. Yeah. This is 20 this is something months ago, two years ago. You call it day one. This is what it is. It looks like a pig. It's a pig. We don't need to investigate. It's a pig. Okay, you can put lipstick on this thing, but I'm telling you, this is a pig. And they're going to give them. Now, not just that, we're employing some of them in police forces, giving them a gun. Mm-hmm. Great point. To enforce the law, you think they won't let them vote? They're giving them a weapon. <laughs> Illegals, non vetted. Okay, he was Javier yesterday. He's John Smith today. He was John Smith yesterday. He's Keon tomorrow, right? Pick a name on the border, right? A weapon to enforce the law on other Americans. They're not going to let them vote. It's always been the case because it's the playbook. Right. It's not a playbook that was written in 2020. This playbook is, is a Marxist playbook it is a nationalist playbook it is a an authoritarian playbook of how you break a culture and i said from the beginning their number is 15 million because that four and a half percent illegals crossing in a certain term unvetted toppled london toppled zimbabwe you 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 can look at all the cultures and that was 15 million for us and i think we're at 20 which is why we like, our country will cease to exist as we know it if we aren't serious about mass deportations. It literally is the only way at this point I see this country surviving through all of this because, you know, uh, to your point about the 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 voting aspect, we're also talking about economic ramifications far into the future. Um, let me give you this one. New York City Mayor Eric Adams 
has launched a $53 million pilot program to distribute prepaid credit cards <laughs> to migrant families staying in the hotel. So they're going to uh, provide the asylum seekers at the Roosevelt, Roosevelt Hotel now with city funds for purchasing food. Now, it is a pilot program, so it's, we're going to do 500 migrant families to start in short-term hotel stays, uh, replacing the current food service, and migrants are required to sign an affidavit pledging to spend the funds only on food and baby supplies to remain in the program. So don't worry. The same person who abused their way into the country, came in the country illegally, disrespected our laws enough to come here breaking the law, that person, if they, they'll sign an affidavit. They, they're going to super pinky promise. Because at first I thought, well, they're going to they're going to pledge by signing their name. But then I heard that it was going to involve the super duper pinky promise. And then I was like, all right, we probably can trust them. That's legit right there. The super duper <laughs> pinky promise. Um, yeah. Give them money. Uh, let them uh, move into your kids schools. Right. Your kids can just learn off the computer at home. Um, move them into all the hotels. You can't stay there. You know, take the tourists out. Everyone knows this is not sustainable. It's absolutely not sustainable. And what's crazy in New York is they're starting to see the ramifications of that. Like I mentioned this. But what are they doing? Yeah. Of course they are. It's, it's it's filthy over there in those hotels. So what are they doing? Throwing more money at them. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm actually surprised they let this go public because usually they talk kind of big. Like he was talking kind of big for a while in city council meetings about, oh, we've got to do something about this. But on the back end, on the back side, they're just letting them in anyway because, right. you know, and they're probably directing them to places where, you know, they feel like they might be at risk of turning red at some point. So we'll just like filter them in that way. It's absolutely insane. I don't I tell you what, like I just got finished talking to a lot of Border Patrol people down there. And you talked about mass deportations. It actually absolutely can work. It's happened in the past in, in our country and it went perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. They will tell you down on the border that even the border wall stuff is kind of stupid at this point, mm -hmm. like building more border wall because it's a little context. And I saw a video on Twitter. It was like those history and, you know, historical videos. And it showed like Texas, you know, being the first state to, you know, put up a border wall by themselves mm -hmm. or something like that. Well, the context on that, and you know, this Yaku is the border wall is already, it's like 75 meters, hundred meters away from the actual border. So by the time they cross the river and come up to that border wall, they're, they're already safe to make their claim. It's called landed migrant. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. So yeah, you, you have legal status at that point, legal status as a landed migrant. That is a immigration law. So by the time already. you get to the famous border wall, already it's already over. Yeah, it's over. Wow. They, they get processed, and with and with the, um, it was different under the uh, Trump administration because they didn't have the catch and release. Yeah. So that is the biggest issue right now is the catch and release. So they get all the way up to the border. They're already fine. They can they make their claim. There's like a decade backlog. I've been told now that we heard like we were shocked by like oh it's like three years and then they can you know they're supposed to report back in for their case which usually they never do. Right. Well now they don't even have a date on most of them because exactly. it's right. so backlog. Right. Notice to appear had a date. <laughs> Sarah, here's, here's the deal. A couple things real quick. The money issue. It's been going on since day one. Mm -hmm. Since day one, when we track when we track them in 18 months ago. $200 cash, plane ticket. It's been going. It's leaking out now because, because I think it's another way to appease some of them. The bigger story is this. When I was at the Roosevelt, remember I posted that story. They only keep them 72 hours. It's winter in New York right now. New Yorkers, you know, it's cold. 72 hours, now you're out on the street. This is a woman and two little children out on the street. 500 bucks not going to last you very long. Even if you give them 500 bucks, give them 1,000, right? How long is that going to last you until people are hungry? So crime's going to spike because when people are hungry and they're destitute and they sleep on the, on the heat grids in the streets of New York in the subway, now you're taxing the healthcare system, the public mm -hmm. services system, the shelter system. And so what are we doing? Oh, all veterans, you go out of assisted living. Migrants come in. Right. Turning v Do you see the VA where they're showing veterans away from the VA? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is already absolutely diabolically dismal. All mm -hmm. right. It's, it's, it's appalling how we treat our veterans, but they let migrants in. So it's not just the money, it's the whole system is stressed to the max. Three billion a year already that we spent on Texas schools yes. alone. Yes. Already. For, for illegal. It's been going. This is yes. not new, it yes. was since day one. So New York, just to kind of uh, wrap this up here, and, and it is every 28 days they refill that prepaid credit card, $1,000 for a family of four um, for them to spend on 
you know, again, the super duper pinky promise, it's just, you know, food or baby supplies. But this follows recent contracts in New York totaling $137 million with city hotels to provide over 750 rooms for the asylum seekers as the city houses more than 66,000 individuals and a cr- amid a crisis estimated to cost $10 billion through 2025. New York. That's New York. Yeah, by the way, when you go there, when you go to the Roosevelt, right? It's not just the Roosevelt because I was there, right. right? It's all the restaurants on the block are only for migrants. The laundromat, only for migrants. Americans that live, because you know, in New York, every 10 blocks, the city repeats itself. Every 10 blocks is a coffee shop and a laundromat and a donut shop. I mean, that's New York, right? Well, you live in that vicinity. Sorry. Your life is altered forever. You now go four blocks down to go wash your laundry or go do what you do, your breakfast or whatever. They don't care. It's at, it's at the, the peril of the American citizen. It's not just the hotel. It's the, the whole ecosystem is impacted. Mm-hmm. You, you mentioned those numbers. And, uh, you know, if you live in New York and you hate this, don't worry about it. You know, if you're worried about it, because if this new bill passes, you get subsidized with even more money to continue those practices. Exactly. <laughs> Which is why it's so freaking frustrating Ridiculous. when I'm like, it's like, this is not a border security bill. This is a, we're going to take more taxpayer money to throw more money at the problem and pretend like that's going to solve it. It's not. It's just going to keep getting worse. And they're going to run out of money because we're already giving them all of it. While codifying thousands more daily yes. to come in. Yes. Now they're buying time. They're <sighs> buying time to the election. They're buying votes. This is a vote purchasing program is what it is. If you like this clip and you want to see the full episode, click here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, come on, you know, you do. Click here.